Houston. Discoveries initiate the RPM. Two. Commander Lee Archambault manually brought Discovery to a point 600 feet below the space station before the shuttle did a complete backflip. The rendezvous pitch maneuver, meant to allow the space station to examine approaching shuttles for damage, has become known almost as well for its beauty. I think these are some of the most spectacular pictures I, I have seen in the entire history of the shuttle program is, these, uh, is the pictures we get during the RPM to see the Earth rotating underneath um, the orbiter as the orbiter uh, basically does a loop in uh, one spot. Discovery locked into the space station so it can spend the mission taking the station to full power for its upcoming six-person crew and enhanced science research missions. Houston and Alpha capture confirmed. The crew will spend almost all Wednesday slowly pulling the new solar array out of Discovery's cargo bay and handing it off to the space station. If they move the parts too fast, the space station can't fight back and keep full control, meaning the station couldn't keep itself pointed perfectly at the sun for the most possible electricity. Obviously we want to make sure that we don't bump into anything and uh, that's one of the reasons for the slow pace, but the real reason is, or one of the more significant reasons, is that the attitude control of the station um, is done with, with large gyroscopes and uh, they're actually spinning with momentum. And the faster you move objects around on this combined stack, the more momentum you can build up. And it, you can actually end up uh, saturating the gyros, what we call saturating them, which means they can no longer take any more, ment more momentum out of the stack, and you'll lose control. Now, some people think lose control means you're going to go spinning wildly through space. That's not true. It just means you can't hold the attitude that you wanted, and you're going to slowly drift out of attitude. The mission marks a first for Japan. The shuttle is dropping off Koichi Wakata, Japan's first astronaut who will live long term on the space station. Uh, this is a great accomplishment for Japan's ISS program in the last 20 years since it started. Well, I think it's hugely significant that we now have one of our, another, another one of our major international partners represented on board with a long duration crew member. Um, it's, it's been, a, it's, it's been a, a, a tough road getting here, but I'm very excited to have him on board. Meanwhile, the shuttle's exercise equipment is still broken. The crew has been told to use the space station's exercise bike and some elastic equipment on the shuttle to exercise so they can stay in shape during the mission. David Waters, SpaceFlightNow.com.